Hey guys, good morning. I wanted to do a quick video here and show everybody my what's left of my micro camper. Um, you may have seen the build video. If not, I'll link to it in the description. But I made some mistakes. This is a learning process and uh, I think uh, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and tear it all down and start over. But before I do, I wanted to show you some of the mistakes I made and hopefully help, help some of you guys prevent making these same mistakes if you're building your own. Hey, so here's the camper. Do a quick walk around and kind of show you guys what's left of it. So I've already ripped off the roofing material or the, the roof of the camper and got some water damage issues and just overall design. I think I uh, need some work. You can see down here where I had some water issues. Started tearing away at the, the issues and trying to solve it. And just decided it's not worth continuing to try to fix it. So I'm going to start over. All right, so start off with the, the number one issue, probably the biggest issue I had with this build was the trailer that I started with. So I had a plan in my head for a four by eight rectangular trailer that I was gonna be able to throw a sheet of plywood on, seal the bottom and start building. Well, when I ordered the trailer from the custom manufacturer, I wasn't specific enough and that was my fault. And so I asked for a four by eight trailer with no side rails and no floor. And so that's what I got. But I got a 4x8 utility trailer and they put all of these extra supports on and welded on the fenders, welded on the lights, put all this extra support up here in the front, which you can see I've already cut part of it off. It's it laying here. But it caused the biggest part of my issues when building because my plan was to build right up to the edge and then have aluminum skin come down to here so any water that got on this trailer would run down past the trailer and drip off. Instead, I had to build inside the frame and no matter what I did, what kind of sealant I tried to use, I could not get that to not leak. So that's the biggest number one issue was the trailer I started with. But that led to some other issues also because it changed my whole design and that leads to the second problem. Poor planning. So I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> I had watched other YouTube videos and kind of tried to get an idea of what I was wanting to do. And when I got the trailer, I didn't take the time to do a proper design and a plan. All right, guys, so one of the other issues that I had was choice of materials. If I can get one of these out of here. So my spars that go across here are just one by twos. And <clears throat> that was a bad decision. Um, it made the front and especially the roof, in my opinion, not strong enough. You can see it's got some give to it. It made the roof, and this was my roofing material. Um, it's not it's not thick enough in my opinion. And between that 
And an airplane going by. Guys, I live really close to a major international airport, so I'm trying to avoid filming when planes are going by, but every few minutes one's going by, so if you get some plane noise in the background, I apologize. I'm doing my best to, to prevent it, but it's a busy time of the year and a lot of travelers, so the planes are just nonstop, so bear with me. So between the the one by twos not being strong enough and the thin roofing material it just causes the, the roof to sag and you can see our water would build up here and even though I did my best to seal this just the roof being able to flex and give as much as it could I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure that I had leaking issues under the roof material and it was running down the sides on the inside I originally had this skinned with aluminum and I think some of that water was running down under the aluminum and roofing material all the way in here also that was also some of my water issues along the front here Okay, so here is a another issue and that was the construction of the galley um, I originally used a hurricane hinge here which I think was the right way to go but because of mistakes I made when building it it didn't work and I gave up I ended up using this piano hinge with a rubber tire inner tube out underneath it this actually worked okay I think the hurricane hinge would have worked better if I would have done it properly um, the big issue was this one overhangs a little bit so that any water that gets on here can, can drip off the edge. I didn't do that with a hurricane hinge. I stopped it short and that caused water to be able to get in behind it. I redesigned this a couple of times. This was my f last attempt and I think this could have worked if I had made a few changes. Um, I'm going to be completely redoing or like, completely a different way when I do this on the next one. But the problem with this design was for one, I didn't get it properly sealed here. So any water that did get in here could run in there. The other issue is I did not save room for my gasket. I should have made this a little bit lower here and a little bit lower so that I had you know, a little bit of a gap so I didn't squish down my gasket because once you squish down this gasket material it's pretty much worthless it's not gonna stop any water but the plan was solid I mean it's kind of built like a like a car trunk so any water that managed to get in here would you know run down this edge and be able to run run out all the way to the bottom As another big issue with this build was, like I said, I had originally skinned it with aluminum and I had aluminum trim along all the edges and I just couldn't get it to stop leaking and I didn't know why. So I gave up, ripped all the aluminum off and ended up coating the whole camper with Raptor liner, which I think is a great product for bed lighting but not so much for this purpose. The, the wood just expands and, and contracts too much in the changing temperatures and weather. And this Raptor liner just can't hold up to that. And my, I mean, you can see here where it just splits and cracks. And even down on the trailer itself, I've got splits and cracks because of this difference between the wood being able to flex and the trailer being rigid it just causes it to crack along here and you end up, end up with leaks which leads to the 
other problem of not being able to seal the aluminum. So the issues that I was having was even though I had aluminum sheeting on both sides and an aluminum trim that I sealed, the sealant just wasn't holding up so water was getting in underneath the aluminum trim and then running down the inside of the aluminum on the outsides. What I should have used is butyl tape, which is this stuff here. It's a really sticky, almost tar-like substance that comes in a roll, you put it on behind the trim, and then as you tighten down the trim, it compresses and then forms a good seal, and it flexes and moves with the weather so it actually works really well and when i used it for this window i never had any problems with leaking from the window after that never had any problems leaking from the doors after that so when i get ready to build this new one there will be butyl tape under all the trim under the hinge under the everywhere where there's an edge I used it under under here, which I think stops the vent from or the vent fan from leaking. But because of my issues with the roofing material choice, I still had leaking from the roof, just not from the fan. So guys, that's it. That's that's the major issues that I had with the build. Hopefully by showing you this video it'll save some of you some of the problems that i experienced and i look at this as a learning experience and i know what not to do next time so if you're going to build a camper like this either a teardrop or a little square back or a micro camper of some sort just take your time make a plan stick to it and don't get in a hurry and save yourself some of the the issues and problems that i had and if you like this video if you like what i'm doing here go ahead and uh hit like helps me out hit subscribe follow along as i get ready to to build the next one